Would you make a video like that and post it? No. Why not? Because I'm not Indian. <laughs> Roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to episode 33 of the Amateur Hour Podcast, home to the most mediocre content on the internet. Today, yep. guys, we're doing a new thing. We're doing a comment comment of the, the, the day, comment of last episode. Name it whatever you will. Shout out to so fucking, <laughs> so fucking Cuban 19 leaving a comment on last week's episode. We used to do laterals in baseball. I was trying out for the varsity team and faked the hamstring injury to get out of it. This was sophomore year. My junior year, I made it to the soccer team and ran 10 times more than I would have in baseball. So essentially, <laughs> so essentially nothing. Yeah. No, you got it. You got out of one and then did the worst thing. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> you cheated on one just to Don't. really go into a harder one. Yes. Sure. But I have a question for you. What's up? Do you, do, do you, uh, do you have a song of the week? Like, is that something you do? There is a song. It, it, Yes. Like like every week you pick like a certain song and it's your song of the week and then there's a song of the week for me. Mm -hmm. There's a song of the day. There's a Ooh. song of the hour. I'm a Trevor. Yeah. So it just bounces. What's your song of the week? Right now? Yes. Fuck. What I've been listening to the most? That would be a song of the week. At the moment, right this time, uh, I I have been on a Drake um stint for a minute, so I've been listening to Massive by Drake. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Okay, what about you? Do you have a song of the week? <laughs> yes, I do have a song of the week. East Side by Khalid and Halsey. Okay. Listening to that song reminds me that I'm not a teenager anymore. It's I'm crazy like, because, Damn. yeah, it's crazy because my sister, Damn. that, that his first album yeah, um, came out, I think, my sister's senior year. So, like, that's her, like, that's just, it's crazy to me that I, you, that's your guys' like high school vibe. Yeah, it is. His first album came out my freshman going into sophomore year. Yeah. So that when the song 18 came out, I was seven. I was 16, 17. Oh, shit. And I was like, this relates to me so much. So I go back to that and just kind of reminisce on a little bit of old times. And the song. So why is that the song of the week, though? Why do you ask? Just because I, I'm just curious to see if anybody else participates in song of the week, because I, each week just to differentiate, to have it, it's it, it's a soundtrack, you know, do I'm you not, do you want us to do that? What do you mean? Do you want us to suggest to the to the viewers? Comment down below if you guys uh, check out our, our song of the week. Let's see whose song of the week is better. I, I Sure, sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was just saying. <laughs> just I was just having a conversation with you. I didn't mean to take it. I didn't mean to take it there. <laughs> Everything to has to be there. a fucking competition. Uh, sorry, Jesus sorry, Christ. Sorry, I didn't mean to take it there. But let us know just if you guys have a song of the week, if you guys participate in that uh, act and what it is. Yeah. Always want to check out new music. I, I think it'd be dope, like just to have us, tell them, and then they can give us their song of the week, and we'll yeah. check them out. What if we curate a playlist? That way, we all listen hey, together. Hey, that'd be tight. Songs of the week. Mm -hmm. yeah, we might be onto something. Think we're on. All right, Matthew. I, <laughs> I have been going back on like Instagram Reels and TikTok a little bit, and I wanted to show you a video, and I wanted to start something new. I wanted to show you a clip of the week, something that really makes me laugh. Like your humor? Yes, yeah, like my humor. Okay. I, I. I it's very interesting because my humor and your humor are different. There is some overlap, but yeah. I'm just interested. I, I just genuinely, when I first saw this, I, I just made me. Have you <laughs> just looking at the screen? Have you seen this before? What grade were you in when they took this picture? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? <laughs> He's singing so beautifully. Really? Nothing? No, it's no, funny. It's, nothing, it's fucking... Nothing. <laughs> I was waiting for... That's it. Oh. That's, that's it. They're, 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 that's it. <laughs> I think your reaction is funnier than... <laughs> Then I mean he's just getting down. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. He's singing his, bro. I think he's singing it better than Doja Cat herself. No, it's fine. <laughs> just here, one more time, one more time. Just, 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 just from the top. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. 
I'm not laughing out of my swear. I'm not laughing out of it. It's just really funny. <laughs> bro, just imagine me getting yeah. out to the cook and I was like, I want to brag about it. <laughs> I want to. Sh- <laughs> he. <laughs> He's definitely. Uh, he's, he's vibing, getting, bro. He's, he's vibing. Getting, he's he's getting, he's getting <laughs> so, can I ask you something? With people that make these types of videos, uh huh. <laughs> okay. Do you think would you make a video like that and post it? No. Why not? Because I'm not Indian. <laughs> Roll the intro. <laughs> 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 I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what no, I'm saying is... It takes do you a think l- it's ironic? Do you, do you think we're getting baited? Nah. No nah, master? I I've, I've posted things ironically, but I don't think it's ever been to that to, to that degree. I, I, I think like, that's, that's posting pretty good. Posting cringy videos, being okay that they're... Cr- like, do they think they're cringy? Do they not... Or do they know they're cringy? What I'm saying is it takes a certain level of person to not give a fuck what the internet's gonna say. I thought he. I, I no, genuinely it, think that that thing, that guy would say, thought it was dope. It and it, it, it kind of is. It, it kind of is because not I everyone. Wanna show you all. Not everyone can do that. I want to show you all. Yeah, not everyone can do that. <laughs> Anyways, that was the clip of the week, guys. Yeah, the of the week. <laughs> go go ahead and watch it for yourself, please. Don't 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 make me feel like the the odd one out here. That comment was comment if you thought that shit was funny, <laughs> that, that, that or if you got that, thought that shit was beautiful. <laughs> okay, Matthew, I'm gonna name you five names. Riley Reed. <laughs> Lana Rhodes, <laughs> Leah Gotti, and Kimmy Granger. What do those five names that I just listed have in common? I am sure there is a porn stars. So exactly, you're right. There are porn stars, Matthew. Do you want to know something? What's up? With the recent news, I'm sure everybody has heard. There's been a lot of porn stars that haven't been having the best time, and I'm not talking pleasure. Yeah. So that got me thinking. Who was the first porn star? Do you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, ironically, no. I don't. It'd be weird if you did, because I didn't. But let me present you with a name. I don't go back that far, you know? Who's the first porn... Who's the oldest porn star you know? The oldest? Yes. Damn. I don't know, man. I don't look at their age to begin with, so... That, that like, was... but I'm saying, like, the, maybe, like, the, 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 the one I saw for my first time... I'm going back, like, the first time I saw. Uh, and then I'm just say, like, adding who, the age. Who was someone that... No, not even adding the age. I'm if just they saying, were a like, teen then, what are they now? No, I... <laughs> no... <laughs> No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, anyway, I don't remember the first. <laughs> Who is this lady? Who was the first? Let me give you a name, Matthew. Let's talk about Linda Lovelace. Yeah, does that name ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I fucking hope not. <laughs> Linda Lovelace is credited to be the first American pornographic actress to quote unquote make it big, no pun intended. Who signed her? Huh? Who signed her? There was n- th- this was before the porn industry was the porn industry. Damn. So she was just an actress. Oh, shit. Right? Okay. Linda Suzanne Borman was born on January 10th, 1949. She was born into a working class family to a policeman father and a waitress mother and described her upbringing as quite harsh and unhappy. Damn. Linda attended in private Catholic schools, even gondering the name Miss Holly Holly because she actively avoided sexual activity. Linda. Any, Linda. Okay. Any form of sexual thing, tension, touching, anything like that. Back in the Catholic school days, it was the big no-no because you got to leave room for Jesus. Always me. If you're ever feeling them horny feelings, remember. Just think about Jesus. You need Jesus' amount of space between you and the next person. Can I, can I say something real quick? I think that like, cl- not closeted, but like oppressed church yeah. people yeah. tend to... Uh, Tend to, you know, I, I, I'm i not going to go ahead and say it, but like, oh, Jesus Christ, there's just, just something about know, that. You know, know, you know, you push down a, into a bottle like a lot and create that pressure. It's just about something's going to bust. They, it's not going to be me. They're usually the freakiest. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. that's a, uh, But it's because it's forbidden. Yeah. Human, human, human nature is for us to. Jesus oppose. didn't have sex. I'm sure he did. He got down, right? I'm sure he, he was a down. carpenter. Come on now. I'm sure. uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not the only wood, Wasn't the only wood he can handle. You know? Know? Okay. Jumping forward. To to Jesus. <laughs> jumping forward to the age of 20, Linda gave birth to her first child, a child that was giving up, given up for adoption via Linda's mother. She tricked Damn. her into giving her own child up for adoption. How does that happen? The Wikipedia article didn't specify, so I don't even know. C- uh, CPS wasn't invented just yet. Yeah. Neither was porn, so, so it was the w- wild, wild west at this time. You could just sell a baby. 
<laughs> so we're just giving away. Who would know? Oh, no, I'm sure they got some money for it. <laughs> How much would you sell a baby for? The black market, you're looking at like at least 15K. That's a whole human, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think like race comes into effect when cost? Yes. How so? <laughs> Whilst out and about one day, Linda unfortunately was in a car crash, sustaining a handful of injuries, and whilst in the hospital getting treated for those injuries, she ended up getting hepatitis contamination hepatitis through cross contamination in the blood transfusion. Which that's is really fucking unfortunate. I feel like that happened a lot more back in the day. Especially. Yeah, because they didn't have the medical advances that we did. It was all it still happens today. You think just so? just not as much. But like things fuck ups happen like that. That, that's fucked, dude. Yeah. Imagine you go donate some plasma because you're down on money. You spend all your money on porn, and then you get hepatitis B or some shit like that. Yeah. Damn. At this point in her life, she met a gentleman by the name of Chuck Trainer. Shortly became Linda's husband, manager, and pimp. Damn. Of course, a pimp would have to be the one to do it. Obviously. Uh-huh. Who else? Obviously poetic. After moving to New York, Linda acquired the stage name that we all came to know her as, Linda Lovelace. And went to star in a number of short, hardcore films that were often showcased in peep shows. Now, Matthew, let me ask you, what do you think peep shows are? Um, not that I would know, but I'm assuming they're theaters or some sort of place you can go and, you know, take a gander at some stuff. So, you're kind of on the money. Peep shows, think of them as a booth, right? Right. In that booth, they are either playing pornographic films... Most yeah. commonly, you know, they're just playing a film in there. Or if you really want to get fancy, really want to get bougie up in like Scottsdale, um, they would have live performances. I don't know how big that booth needed to be for people to do it live, but you know, use your imagination. I mean, you you don't need a lot of space. That's all I'm saying. Hell yeah. Shout out to the back of Kia Souls. Um, through the, <laughs> these, these were... <laughs> <laughs> these were often viewed in small boxes and lenses so like you would get up into the booth be a little little, little little square like that right let's say it's this and then you would have to view people getting down through that because you just wanted a little bit of the action you wanted the full thing like damn bro, i need to see it yeah i need to I see, need it, to but see o- it but only a little bit just a little bit. only a little bit. too much would fry their brains back then it's, yeah exactly they, they couldn't handle it okay could you imagine if the bbls same i'm gonna i would send an army <laughs> I send an army of BBL bandits back to the 1900s. E- imagine, imagine it if we time travel, right? And we uh-huh. send like the most Kim Kardashian esque botched person. Botched? Botched. You don't want to send the best of the best. No, no, no. Because the, I think the botched freaks you out more. I'm not trying to freak them. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, just, just think of think about like like comically. We send the most botched person there is to like year one. <laughs> Year one? Year one. Like with sticks and shit? Yeah. Like in the and then, Bible days? Yeah, in the Bible days. And little Miss Daisy's just double double <laughs> double cheeked up on a Tuesday with lip filler and Exactly. Damn. They're just like Ooga. What would they do? Ooga 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 Ooga. What would they fucking do? Ooga Ooga. I don't think they were like that. You don't you don't what 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 part of that? Oh, I said a lot of things. Oh, the the Ooga. Ooga Ooga. I don't think they were. What did, Ooga, what did Ooga. you think they said? No, I I, I think they spoke like people. Like this? Yeah. No. Yes. No. In year one? English didn't exist, Matthew. In year one? No. The year one of not people? The, not the movie. The actual year one. Yeah. What do you mean? The yeah. year one of people? If, if you think about la- language is just a mixture of sounds. I'm sure there was some kind of like communication thing, but there's no way it's this. Think about it. If you were born and nobody taught you how to speak, could you? Yeah. How? <laughs> Why would you ask me? You just, why would you ask me? I'm not. I'm, what do you want me to say? Anyway, go ahead. Finish your fucking story. Starting 1969, Linda went off to start in some questionable films, those being Dogorama, <laughs> or as many people know it as The Dog Fucker, and what? Piss Orgy, what? a golden shower film. So, you said two things right there. First of it was the dog fucker, and the second one was piss orgy. Go ahead and take a gander, Matt. What those two I films are don't about? Even, yes, I'm not even gonna. Yeah, you, you guys can use your imagination. For years, Linda denied any association with these films until video proof came out, and then she went on to say, confirming that there was no willing participation, and Chuck Trader, her husband, 
manager and pimp. So I just had to go back and look at the notes. Had forced her, abused her into these roles repeatedly. Leading us to Linda's breakout role as herself. She played herself. In, she did play herself, actually. In, you played in, yourself. In the 1972 film release of Deep Throat. <laughs> the film achieved classic. what a classic the, the, the classic what film classic. deep throat such a stuff there was citizen kane the film a shout out to eli the film achieved surprising and un, un, unprecedented popularity amongst mainstream audiences i wonder, I wonder why. why i wonder why being played several times a day within the span of 10 years Several times a day, this movie was playing in movie theaters. In theaters, at this time, there was films like, was Indiana Jones out at this time? 1972? There had to be like some classics out, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So imagine those movies and this fucking porno is just playing right, right. And the in movie the theater, next to it. The, the, the next and then you just hear freaking John McCain. <laughs> <laughs> Macaroni sounds going on macaroni i don't think dudes can macaroni have you macaroni what do you mean hearing macaroni sounds it's deep throat from still can make macaroni sounds that guy what are we talking about (laughs) why are you you talking what do you mean a guy what are you talking about anyway sorry in the span of 10 years this played multiple times throughout the day right becoming the highest grossing x-rated film earning over 600 million dollars and that is in 1972. Could you fucking imagine the fuckload of money that they made off of this? This film made $600 million, but they, they, they struck gold because they only had to play the star $1,250. Oh, yeah. That was what Linda received. But uh, it ends up that Chuck ended up taking that money for himself either way. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> essentially, she got paid for nothing. After the success of Deep Throat. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue. And and seeming to be on top of the world, Linda went off to star in Pajama Tops, her first non-X-rated film. Oh, shoot. It bombed. Did it? It bombed. Coming back with the disappointing box office performance, which led to everybody's favorite, Deep Throat 2, released in 1973, following the first Deep Throat, but only carrying an R-rating rating, R-rated rating. What was the first one? X. Uh, because it showed everything. Uh, this one was just R. They showed some things, but it wasn't to the degree of the first deep throat. She probably had boundaries, better contract this time around. Right. Maybe she got a little bit more than getting her money stolen this time. Yeah. And going to perform worse than the first one. Linda went off pursuing her career and later filed a lawsuit against Chuck Trainer, winning the case, but suffering years of substantial drug and alcohol alcohol abuse due to all the abuse that she was put through during the filming of these movies. She filmed quite a substantial amount of movies. I just highlighted a couple. And throughout that, she claimed that she was raped and held at gunpoint. Not the best experience for anybody, unfortunately. But in 1980, after releasing her first autobiography, Linda joined multiple women rights and feminist groups to bring light to the dangers of porn, mainly with women and how they were treated, especially back then. This was before like the porn industry was the porn industry. So the porn industry now is questionable. Yeah. One can oh. only ima- one can only imagine what evil. it was way back when when there was no regulations. No, it's, e- it's evil now. It is evil now. Just so it's... back then, there when there was no regulations oh and rules and God, I'm pretty sure people died all the time. Oh, or, definitely. You know all types. Definitely. Of shit. I, I'm pretty sure the only reason why she didn't was because the amount of success that she brought with those films. I mean, she was still lynched. She was still a name. She was Linda Love Lace for goddamn it. <sighs> On April third, twenty twenty two. After being in another fatal car crash and being on life support, Linda unfortunately passed away a couple of weeks later, dying at the age of 58. When? April 3rd, 2002 was when she oh, got- Oh, 2002. 2002 is when she got a car crash, and then she officially died April 22nd, dying at the age of 53. Damn. And there's been a number of documentaries. Uh, she's released about three autobiographies, and I think there's a biopic on there uh, about her. Does it by chance have any footage from the first film? I cannot confirm that. Link will be in the description. Link will be in the description <laughs> to her first film. You guys be the judge. No. Does old porn hold up now? Uh-oh. Was that a no? no. <laughs> Why? We got new stuff now, baby. Yeah? BBLs, I told you. <laughs> we already went through this. 
We already went through this. Anyways, that was the story, Matthew, of the very first porn star. I fell yes. down the rabbit hole again. It gets me every time. Damn. Just let loose. Damn. So, like, what site were you on when this thought occurred to you? What do you mean, what site? What site? Were you uh, on the hub? And then you thought, who's the No, person? no, no, no. I, I, because I downloaded Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Because. Follow uh, me, motherfucker. Not doing that. Damn it. I downloaded Twitter about you. because you have claimed that that's where news spreads the quickest. And it does. I need to be. I need to do a little better job of keeping up to date with the trends. Yeah. Finally, I sound like a forty-year-old man. That's what I'm saying. Add me on Twitter. I'll get you. You, you need. You, right now, you got to build your timeline. The mm-hmm. Timeline. You know. You got to. You're not out there yet. So I follow TMZ. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, Came Star. You know oh, all yeah, all, yeah. all those uh, news outlets, and I saw that drama alert posted about Emily Willis. You know, she's she's unfortunately still on, is it vegetable? Ve- Life veg- support or something? Ve- yeah. That, that thing. She's not on vegetables. <laughs> she's in a vegetative state. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that yeah. one. That, I she's didn't, on vegetables right I now. didn't mean for that to come off insensitive, but I saw that and I'm like, damn, porn stars. And uh, I just went down the rabbit hole. No, it, it's, uh, we have seen things and read things uh, like maybe like five, six years ago where it's like different actors and actresses coming out and really just shedding light on some of the like crazy dark side of the porn industry. Mm-hmm. It's actually really um, mm-hmm. uh, Again, and that's nowadays. So yeah. you can only imagine what Linda went through. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's a good little rabbit hole to go down, to, mm-hmm. yeah, go down I guess. You know? Strictly, you know, business. <laughs> no. Strictly, strictly, strictly business. Research, there business. was, there was no problem. pleasure involved <laughs> at all whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't spend 40 minutes in the bathroom whilst mid- article <laughs> pivoting from that you want to talk about rabbit holes right yes but i i went down one as well now this one you went down a porn star rabbit hole yeah no i went down just a i was looking up different things to to to, to bring today right one of them it, it, it piqued my interest it was talking about inventions that are sought out like after you know like 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 forbidden inventions forbidden inventions yeah like flying no i'm no because i'm fly as fuck <laughs> I knew they weren't gonna like that one. <laughs> Do you should. think cringy people know that they're cringy? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, fucking cut that out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not leaving. That. I'm leaving that shit in yeah. now. Oh shoot! I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm a TOS's. I'm a TOS's. <laughs> you're you're gonna, gonna strike our own yeah, channel. I'm start copyright. I'm gonna start yeah, like, I don't want it. Sir, sir, please take it off. Take it off, dear YouTube, Mister YouTube, please. <laughs> anyway, okay. I came across. A story about an invention that is out there that falls in line with some of the stuff we've done for this channel in, involving time travel. It's essentially oh, they don't even know about the episode that's coming out. Little teaser: we have a we have another time travel episode coming out, guys. Yeah, stay so, tuned for that. In line with that, right? Um, I came across this invention. Right, it is called the Chrono Visor, not Chromosome Visor, like you. Damn it. The chrono visor, right? Allegedly, this was a machine that was invented, that was designed by an Italian priest and scientist. His name is Pellegrino Ernetti. Priest and scientist. He's a priest and scientist. That's not. A, that wasn't the combo on my bingo card. That was not. You You would think, right? Really. Yeah, you would of, think that one side contradicts the other, but hey, yeah. kudos to him. Uh, it was alleged that... Keeping it for Jesus. It was told in a book by another priest who... Came out with this book that came out in 2002. I'm pretty sure it was like called The Confessions of Ernetti or something. It was something like in that realm, right? Mm-hmm. And he talked about different conversations that he had with this priest slash scientist, right? And Ernetti claimed to have built a device in the 19, somewhere around the 1950s with a, te- a team of 12 scientists. Two of them really well known. There was a famous physicist named Enrico Fermi, right? He, if you see a picture, a firm. yeah. If you see a picture of him, though, I'm pretty sure you'll you'll know. Like, he's he at that time he was a really famous uh, physicist, and his face is like I we've seen it somewhere in a history Ita- book. Italy, Italian, Italian. Well, yeah. This is in the 50s, right? Uh, yeah. This is after World War II. That makes sense. Yes, because. Another one of the scientists on that team was a former Nazi member. His name was Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun. Yep, exactly. So this team of 12 scientists, including the two I just mentioned, and Ernetti built a machine, allegedly, right? Allegedly. It was a machine. It was a, well, it was a device that reportedly collected leftover electromagnetic radiation and sound waves 
to enable the 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 people using the device to view ser- view and hear past events. Oh, the so, visor. So seen seen as time travel, we've talked like what we learned about time travel was that there is a chance that all of these things are stacked on each other, right? So if there's some way that you can Every movement, every picture, everything that's happening right now that we see is a moment in time based on the the way the particles are aligned at the moment. If there's some way you can go back and collect those particles in that same exact order, you may be able to piece a picture of what was happening then. The way that that light travels, yes. The way that the speed of light you, travels, you would project that you yes. you would project the image. Because on- right now, if there was an alien planet that was 160 million miles away and they had a telescope that can, that can view us right now, the light that they would get from, that, from, from us would be around the dinosaur era. So they would be getting images of dinosaurs 160 million years ago. Oh, Matthew, you're about to send me down the rabbit hole. Oh, my God. So so, so speaking a, a little bit about the video that these guys haven't seen yet, it said that same thing for mm-hmm. alien planets because they're traveling so much this way. They can either be looking at millions and millions of years of us in the past mm-hmm. or in the present or, or, in, or the in the future. Yeah. Uh, little, little, little mind boggle, right? So, so it pretty much was saying that um, Father Annetti claimed that some of the past events that he went back to witness and used this machine – uh, the most notable one was the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, and then he's another, a priest. And another one was the fire, the Great Fire of Rome. So, when everything got fucking burned down, mm-hmm. um, which was there was a lot of stuff. We should do an episode on the Roman the, Empire. The, yeah, the just the lost. What was it? The Library of Alexandria or whatever. Yeah, had the, all this, all those books that were, all types of stuff. You just got lost. That actually coincidentally, don't you? Now you ever think about that? Yeah. Wait, think about what? That coincidentally, very intricate pieces of history have vanished yep. or been missing. No, I, that was, I was literally going to say the same thing. It pisses me off. It makes me so mad. That should be almost illegal Yeah. to delete history like that. Huh. Which I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's not illegal, but it's frowned upon for sure. Shouldn't go into cultures, things. If you're going to conquer a culture, at least keep, I don't know. It, you know. I don't know. Anyway. Be, be, be proud of what you conquer, man. If, if, if I, if I were to take over a city, I'd be, I, I would want to, for it to be known what I took over. Yeah. Why That's not? what I'm saying. So pretty much, um, all the if, stuff that I was reading was, oh. so everything that I was reading was just saying that, um, father Ernetti till the, till his dying days, he died in, um, 1994 on his deathbed. He stayed true to his story. He didn't back down. He didn't confess anything. Again, this was a piece of technology that would that would be ha- would have been hidden from the world right now because of its power. He directly sa- stated that it was too powerful and that the last time they, as of what he knew, they dismantled the machine after they did did some stuff with it. After the, he realized mm. that maybe this is too powerful, did it stay dismantled? Once you build that, dude. Once you build, once once you, you build once it, you get that power, someone's gonna you, want you're it. You're gonna re re reverse engineer, and then mm-hmm. it's, it's the whole thing, and it's gonna only lead to Oppenheimer. Well, there was just it, there was just implications that the Vatican has it right, or somebody has it, um, like under wraps, uh, whether it's dismantled or not. But the power that can come from something like that, let's just put our fantasy scope on and pretend that let's just say it's real, right? Visor is on. Visor is on, right? Mm-hmm. That shit's powerful in terms of like if you can. It was said that it'd be harder to view it in the future, more so because there's an infinite amount of ways the particles can puzzle in the future and they're ever changing. But it's easier to go back because there's already a path that's being that's that you're following. Uh, you see what I'm saying? So it wasn't an invention to go to the future as much because the future is always changing. Yeah. As much as it was easier just to view what was going on in the past because it already happened. It's almost like a still picture. A little bit coming to life. A little bit. Wow. Yep. That makes sense though, because if you think about it, these are the theories that scare me because there's <laughs> they're they're based on some reality like, or some type of scientific. Yes. You know, because we're only going the, off of the like, the particles and all this stuff that we already know. That's how that that's how this is being captured right now. Yes. Literally, what you guys are watching this, what Matt just described, put it, it on simple, is our cameras. It is our cameras. Yep. That it, light reflecting on us and just obviously like, it's pixels and things this. like that. But when cameras were being invented. It was the same exact thing. Yep. So, so it's not out of the realm of possibility for scientists to try not. to figure, try to take cameras and do something with them. 
You know what I'm saying? It makes the most sense logistically in our real world, given the the time rules that we follow, to only be able to do that in the past. Yeah. Because there's moments that have already happened. Yeah. It's just like we're doing this. This technically, when you're watching this, has already happened. Yes. It's weird because they say time... It's weird because they say time traveler. So they say, um, you know how people always say, "Hey, why have I, did we mention this before?" Where they the question that people always have, skeptics say that time travel. Where are the time travelers at? If it's already if it's invented, where are they at? Yeah. And there's a rule. I I do think time has rules. Everything has rules. The universe has rules. There's a rule that I believe that time won't collapse on itself. It can't. It can't. It will. So it will it, find a way to. It survive. just can't because it's just it's just a thing. It doesn't do that. So it's one of the infinity stones. Yeah. So it's so one. Of, so it's one of the things I think we did mention. I don't know if it was you or, or me, but it was. Uh, you can't. Time travel hasn't been in, invented yet because the day it's invented, you can't go back. You can only time travel forward or something. It was something like that. Uh huh. Like or like you you can't you can you can only time travel backwards and to, to, and, and to when it to was the, created to, to the point to when it was created. So yes. like the day is let's say it's created today. Now then ten years from now we can only go, go back, back as far as that day today. was created. Yeah. Again, let's put this, let's put this into example. This thing's being filmed right now. Right. We can only go back and watch when this, you started that this piece right now. You can only go back when you started that video. That is, oh man. You see what I'm saying? Yo. So that, that took me down that rabbit hole where I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Because if that, because if this, let's just, like I said, even if we're playing devil's avocado and doing that, going by these rules, could you imagine like what, what time in history would you want to go see? If you can pick three times, three, three points in history. Me being conceived. Oh shit. The, I just want to see how, 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 maybe I can prevent it. Um, <laughs> that's how that works. You're just going to have emotional scars. Me preventing it or me seeing it? You seeing it. I've walked in on basically that. Would it, be, would it be worse if you saw yourself being made than your parents just having sex? Is there a different connotations there? I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's the same thing. Maybe it's the same thing. <laughs> but but realistically, where would I travel to? Yeah. What points, in, what points in time in the past? Kennedy assassination. Oh, I have a good one on that one too. Because <laughs> uh, I just... Come on now. There were so many people and nobody knows what happened. The footage that we've seen is doctrine. What does that mean? It's been toy tampered with. You can see it. There's no sound. Not just that. There's, a, can... there's a floating tree in one of the steels. Is there? There's a tree and then there's a gap and then there's nothing. Like We need to talk about the Kennedy assassination at some point. Like Next next time we go conspiracy yeah. things, because I watched a video and I went down the rabbit hole, but this was before I was documenting all these rabbit holes. And I'm, mm, but... I'm down. Yeah. So okay, Kennedy assassination. Kennedy assassination. Um, Roman Empire. Just to see, just to see if if, if it was yeah. true. I don't know. It's up to, up in the air for, for that there. last one. Maybe somewhere like where like dinosaurs existed or, oh, yeah, or stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Or maybe maybe back to like Pompeii. Oh shit! You want to see the suffering? You want to see that happening? Maybe not happening, but see if the city exists because it's just a myth. What do you mean it's a myth? It's a myth. What do you mean? I thought it was. Isn't that a real city? <laughs> what happened? Like, Aren't people there? Like, weren't people charred and shit from the volcano? Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, like there's like there's like there's motherfucking uh. Just, like, yeah, you're right. Maybe to just relive it because it was like Vegas before Vegas. Oh shit! I so, bet. Damn. Vegas. Imagine a BBL then. Oh, there's got they had to have natural BBLs. What is a natural? B- what is like, a BBL just now? Built, just well, is just someone just built like they had a BBL, but just naturally. Okay, so J- uh, JFK assassination, Roman Empire. Dinosaurs. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, mines are, we're, we're guys, so I'm pretty sure dinosaurs is going to be up there for sure. I just need to know. I just need to know. Because I'm pretty sure they were not scaly lizards. They're feathery, they were, bro. They were birds. Yeah. Which makes sense. <coughs> they're the closest DNA relatives to chickens. Yeah. So You would think crocodiles. No, because they're not lizards. That's what I'm saying. I don't know who somebody along the line was like, let's mix the two. It's fucking weird, dude. So the three places I would like to go, dinosaurs will be number three. Second, I'm so, I'm torn between... Like you said, the Roman Empire would be tight. It really would. But Warren Julius Caesar. Move! Ricky! <laughs> <laughs> and everyone, no one's going to get that. No, I'm like, oh, we ain't there yet. My bad. There yet. <laughs> Wrong time, man. My fault, my fault. <laughs> uh, what's it? <laughs> my bad, y'all. Ricky! That don't make sense. That don't make sense in a thousand in a, years. In a thousand years when you guys are dead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I honestly think I would like to go back to the Amazon, to the the, Am- the Amazon time when there was um a, the alleged city in the Amazon. It was supposed to be a hub of who was it? There was a traveler who traveled to the Amazon um store. No, to like the, the Amazon forest. 
and it wasn't a forest it was this it was a it was like a wakanda city. it was a city full of millions of people it was a hub of trading and like commerce and it was just like a thing and then he left wrote stories about it and when they came back a hundred years later not him but like other explorers came back hundred years later it was desolate no one was there i th- some type of sicknesses wiped them out and then the jungle took over. So yeah, I would go back to see the Amazon, see if it was really uh, populated, popping, you know. And um, dang, going back to see the crucifixion of the crucifixion of uh, <laughs> of Christ. You'd go back to see that? Nah, I mean I'm saying that's like on historical events. I grew up Catholic, so we saw it at least once a year. It was a reenactment. You need to see but... if it was real. Is what uh... I'm saying. You need to confirm. This is to confirm things for me. Okay. Confirm dinosaurs were what they were. Okay. Confirm that the Amazon the Amazon uh, rainforest was popping, and then um, confirm Jesus, and then confirm Jesus. Ricky. I know, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, but I don't know if I go with that one. That one's up there. Maybe watch the Titanic live. Yeah. Be like, get on the door. Get on the door. Get I'm on a, the I'm door. An, I'm in a little boat. I'm like, where's Jack? Jack. Where's Jack? Where's Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> <laughs> That'll make sense in a couple of centuries. I'm all like paddling people away. <laughs> You're not Jack. You're not Jack. What's your name? <laughs> you, you push him down. Get out of here. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Imagine I'm the one that causes the ship to crack. So yeah. I, yeah, you know, it's one of those time things. So all, you can't go all along, it all was along, Matt. it was me. I fucking fucked up. My paddle just yeah. hit something and cracked. <laughs> the ship sunk. And then I'm like, fuck. <laughs> How am I going to get back? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it! That's why we can't have nice things. You see one brown guy just out there, just just out there. And I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm so sorry. And I'd be the only brown guy at that exactly. time. That's crazy. Exactly. That's why they, they saw a brown guy and they fucking hit really? the iceberg. <laughs> they distracted like, ah! them. <laughs> yeah, literally. Those three moments, I think I go honorable mention: the crucifixion, or or like Noah's Ark. Ooh. Like something crazy. Yeah. Something crazy. All right, Matthew, I think it's about time that we start talking about what we were supposed to talk about all along in this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, this week, um, we wanted to read some Reddit stories. So let me go ahead and just read you the first line of this story. I once licked the urine off a man without him knowing. Huh? It's not my freaky kink, I swear. I know... Oh, by the way, this is th- these are not my words. It's strictly off of Reddit. <laughs> it's not my freaky kink, I swear. I know I was being a pervert in this whole story, but here we go. During my sophomore year, around 2021, I had a crush on one of my friends. He was a charming guy and definitely not gay. Love how they have to <laughs> elaborate. To specify, yeah. I somehow befriended him. By befriending, I mean being friends as man to man. Although I am gay, but I, this is going to be funny if it's taken out of context. Although I am gay, Jeez. but I, sh- I showed no sign of femininity. He was kind of gay, ho- gay phobic, just homophobic, right? Yeah. I used to go into his room and he used to go around naked in his room. I swear, I swear to God, I couldn't keep my eyes off of his thingy, but I kept on complimenting it like, nice cock, bro. <laughs> that sounds like something guys say he, in the locker room he, for you, no reason. He yeah. usually laughed it, laughed and shrugged it off. I had no boss to tell him that I loved it because, you know, he was kind of gay phobic. For sure. So just off of that, walking around naked in front of your friend is just ballsy. No pun intended. Have you ever <sighs> done that? No. I have not. No. I, no I, to this day, no. I have not seen my... Some, yeah. Yeah. I've seen everything of my friends, but dick and balls. I just, I just, for some reason, I, there was some guys in high school that didn't give a fuck. It's crazy. But, but for the most part, I didn't walk around naked. Back to the story. One day during junior college, we were on a planned picnic with other friends on a small mountain not far from town. We had some drinking, but I wasn't a big drinker. He was kind of intoxicated and I was sober. As I saw him leaving and peeing behind the bush, I put my hand on his shoulder and we went to pee. Yes, seeing his ding dong turned me on. I faked texting with a friend and asked him to go back before me. After he f- left the bush, the god of horniness struck me with his power and I licked his urine, which splattered on the leaves. It is disgusting. I know. I know what you think. I had never done that before. It wasn't and isn't my kink. I don't know what got into me. My soul left my body and I heard a call near from my back. What are you doing? I was stunned. I somehow found a good answer. I just feel like vomiting. I'm not a good drinker, was the excuse. The guy, friend of the guy I had a crush on, laughed and said, yeah, I understand, and peed. 
We are now graduated and he's now back in his hometown miles away from mine. I still regret what I did that day. I was and still am ashamed of myself. Am I wrong for doing this? What do you think, Matthew? Is he wrong for doing that? I don't... I don't... Y- yes? I, I would say so. I mean, it's like... It's not that it's wrong. It's just like... Why? Yeah, like... I, so I'm, ta- I'm telling you right now, the whole the Justice League and the Avengers couldn't get that information out of me. That I would never. I would, someone's I would never. I would never. You'd it, ne- it, Batman uh, couldn't get that information out so of me. So you're saying if you did that... I wouldn't, would, I wouldn't tell nobody. You wouldn't confess to No. But, but this is anonymously, though. Nope. I mean, yeah, you're not really anonymous on the internet. I'm just saying, just in general, even if I'm anonymous, I'm not having that. I'd, you, I'd have to have a VPN and be in a cafe in Italy. What but the fuck? That's actually... <laughs> it's 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 more weird than anything. Like, why? <sighs> People are wild. That is kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. I have never seen someone peeing. As a sexual thing? So not your just favorite porn star peeing wouldn't, regard- wouldn't do it for you? Porn stars pee? Women don't pee at all. Actually. Well, obviously they pee, but I mean, I mean, yeah, those her, those whole like squirting compilations are pee, but no, they 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 don't not, no, but still like I don't want to like lick it off the ground. I don't want to lick know. it at all. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That that was I was a little much. That was it, a little it much. It was. Like I to, understand to, to do the leaves? The, the leaves? You know what that's the a, woods? You know what I think that's equivalent to? About the 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 Have you ever seen those videos where the guy asks the girl to take her socks off and he's just like <sighs> yeah it's crazy i saw that one time and i was like there's no way it's just I, like an animalistic thing bro i don't know it's, let us know guys would you smell a sock or lick pee off the floor off off of leaves all right so really quick i'm piggybacking on that piggybacking on that i did hear about a reddit story it was it was shared on it was shared on reddit it was a real quick one right uh-huh. it was about this uh it was about this woman that came to reddit about one of her first like worst date worst worst hookup stories and it was a story where she met this man on the internet they met up together they she went over to his house he cooked her dinner you know they had like a nice little drink and it was just one of those like oh crap your stomach your stomach starts bubbling in a place it shouldn't be bubbling right Ooh. so you know you know that feeling right where you're yeah. on a you're on a date or something and the bubble guts are hitting but but manageable but manageable she she was okay she was okay so they they get mean, down I'm fine I'm fine what do you mean I'm saying fine so they so they get down to the uh they get down to business right they're kind of the moods changing kind of kissing Ooh. hugging rubbing touching um and oh they God. start they start I love it when you touch me like that they start engaging in you know they start they start hooking up so once they're hooking up um she's you know they're, they're getting a little crazy with it getting a little you know it's, it's going Animalistic. he's the, he's just doing his thing he's and i and i feet. think i if i can remember correctly i think he put it where the sun don't shine Oh, the forbidden and, hole. And when that happened, there was a mess because of okay, her. Okay, here, here, here. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me just guess. She shit on his dick. She shit everywhere. Oh. Because she had to go. So it's just coming out. Just just had an accident out all over the oh. place. She's freaking out. He's trying to calm her down. He, he, t- he tells her, hey, go to the restroom. Clean yourself up. I'll clean this up. Don't worry about it. it not, like, don't worry about it. So cleans it up. Was it solid? Cleans it up, no, because she's like, it was, it was a little explosive, you know, it was, yeah. little, it was just a lot. As soon whatever as, they had eaten, you know, as went soon as you, <laughs> so he cleans it up. Like they do their blood. thing. They, uh, they, they mess up, uh, or they mess up. They, uh, yeah, they, 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 they clean up. Yeah, they clean up their, they clean up themselves, their situation. They say good night. She moves on with it. Right, cool. She just, she to this day, she was just embarrassed that it happened. Well. When she posted that, and this was she was this was in the UK. People from that same area started to come. It found its way around, and someone from that area was like, "Hey, that's odd. I had a similar situation in a in a, in a similar location." And then there was a few other people who were chiming in, saying, "What the heck? I might have had the same situation." I also shot myself last Tuesday. What ha- What what is? I guess what was reported is that this guy was like on these dating sites meeting women up and he was purposely putting laxative in the food, in the drink, whatever he could. That he was cooking. And and he was making them do this because that was something that got him going was having that happen to him. So he was so he was the serial pooper out there making people just. Yeah, I think that trumps the. 
push pee licking. <laughs> That's crazy though. Oh like, could you imagine God. you have the same situation as someone else and it's like this guy's going out of his way to do it. But I asked this question when I was telling the story. Is that illegal? Shitting on people? Putting laxatives in their shit and their food so that they can do like it's not illegal, right? I mean, it, roofing someone is illegal, but like laxative, making someone have an accident on themselves for your uh, sexual pleasure. There has to be some proof. Some and how do you pre- can you can't prove a laxative, right? Like I mean, you know, they're not gonna test your blood and be like, there was mirror lax in your system. And they're not gonna do. You that. would have to catch the guy in the act. And That's I, what I'm saying. But even then, what are you gonna arrest him for? I, I'm not a lawyer. I don't. I don't. I don't I'm sure I there just, there is. So. A, uh, I don't think so. I think it's a loophole. It's like giving someone a vitamin. If they don't die from it, you can't do anything. Like, yes, if you died from whatever you gave someone, you're liable. But, like, you can't prove that he gave you a laxative. Adding a harmful su- substance to someone else's food, drink, or medicine is a crime. Even if a laxative might not seem harmful to you, it is potentially dangerous to others. You could also be looking at assault charges for intentionally causing injury to another person, especially if they're ho- hospitalized. Yeah, see? So. But you. But if someone shit and there's not no hospitalization... How are you going to prove? So there's a loophole of like legality. Would like conspiracy be under that too? Or like intent to blank? But you would have to prove that. Yeah. yeah essentially, this is all. The yeah, only way you, you would be charged is, is to be caught in the act. Yeah. I'm sure there is something, but they would have to. You would, have, yeah. you would just have to. Catch well, if someone got sick, then yeah, you might be in trouble. But yeah, so that was, uh, that was one of those Reddit stories I heard. And it was like. <sighs> okay, Matthew, this, this last story comes from r slash confessions. Uh, so this is an interesting one the tagline is i slept with my daughter's ex-boyfriend he got me pregnant uh, and i had an abortion they're back together and got married oh <laughs> jeez that's on him that's on his, wait that's the on mom? that's yes but like to get back with the ah uh, that's on everybody that is on everybody <laughs> okay this was back in let me think maybe 1997 okay i was 38 and my daughter was 18. She was dating Harry, who was 24 at the time. I was an alcoholic and dabbled in drugs, mostly cocaine. You know, just the usual. Just the usual. <laughs> just the usual just little the usual. dabble of coke. Yeah. I was not a good person, let alone mother. Not like I was abusive to my daughter or anything, but I was generally inattentive and cared more about my alcohol and drugs than her, especially in her teen years. I am now 14 years sober. Congrats. Which I don't know when this was. Yeah, congratulations. I disproved of my daughter dating Harry, but I never told her why. He would flirt with me constantly, and the age difference was also creeped me out just a little bit. Also, he was an alcoholic and drug user just like me. Lovely. But it makes sense, though. Like a broken 18-year-old neglected child is dating a He's going to date someone that's yeah. similar you to, always, to, what, you to always, what she knows. Yeah, you always <laughs> gravitate toward. Uh, gravitate towards what you know exactly so it makes sense to me unfortunately she broke up with him over his alcoholism good on her good on you for now soon after she moved away not too far but regardless she didn't live with me anymore harry kept calling me and asking if we wanted to go get some drinks you know what you're doing you know what you're doing i turned him down but then one day he said he had a bunch of coke and I couldn't resist. <laughs> That's, Jesus. He got it with the coke. Mm, That's I, how you got it. I, I don't like cocaine. I just like the smell of it. <laughs> it feels tingly when you get on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> he came over. We did the coke and we ended up having sex as you do. Right. Right. He was a very good looking guy for the next few months, maybe like three or four months he would sometimes come over and we would have sex and do drugs and get drunk together. Any drug addict knows what that is like having a drug addict buddy in that way. Oh, yeah. Are you agreeing with that statement? Nah, I'm just saying like, oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Just know. agreeing. Supportive. Uh, supportive. <laughs> yep. Whatever you nah, say. I, just, I would but assume <laughs> it would be toxic or not very healthy. <laughs> Are you speaking from experience, Matthew? No. <laughs> Jesus. When I got pregnant, I knew that it was by him. Oh, shit. I had sex without a condom a few times, stupidly. I never told him I was pregnant, and I went on to get an abortion oh, okay. and kept it a secret. If she didn't tell him, then yeah, it's a little different, but still fault. Anyways, I stopped seeing him after that. It was too weird. I also got sober for like four months before relapsing. 
Fast forward two years, and my daughter contacts me and tells me that she got back with Harry, and he is fully sober. I was mortified, honestly. He was going to tell her that we slept together, and she's going to hate me for the rest of her life. Then they came over one day and said hi. And when my daughter was gone, Harry told me that there was no reason to tell her about what happened. And we both agreed. It's Very been mature. 16 years of their marriage on their bar. They have a kid. Harry got cancer. Then beat it. I got sober. That's basically it. I don't see them very often. They live in Texas, and I live in the East Coast. But whenever I do, there is always that tension between me and Harry. It's literally the first thing that comes to either of our minds, and I can just tell. Not the sexual tension, like, why did we do that? What the fuck is wrong with this kind of tension? I think about this often, especially when I see my grandson. That's crazy, yo. A little bit. A little I always bit. think that could have been my son. Yeah, <laughs> if yeah. things gone differently. But wow, what a disaster that would have kept if I decided to keep it. Would have been if I decided to keep it. <sighs> that's a loaded, uh, that's a lot of guilt. That is a lot, man. How do you, do you judge someone off of like, like, first of all, like keeping that to the, like not telling the, telling your kid that. Do you judge someone for that? Like is she a bad person for not telling her daughter that? Uh, I think in, I think there's certain things in this world that are better left unsaid because let's say she does tell her daughter, right? Right. She's only taking that load off herself, no pun intended, and then just passing it over to her daughter. Her daughter's going to be mortified. Like Harry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't falter for that. I would just falter on the... Out of everybody. There's just some mistakes that you don't have to tell your kids. Why why, why the guy that she was dating, though? When you're, when you're unfortunately, when you're just down and down and out, down and out like that, and especially with addiction, you do some dumb shit. It's the addiction. Drugs do not ever have you in your right mind. But wow, could you imagine? Yeah, if I had a wife and my mom hooked up with her, that'd be crazy. Your dad hooked up with her. That would be the the equivalent. How would you feel about that? Oh, well, well I was just equivalent to my parent, my dad. I, I don't. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is a made up story. Let's just say that like the, the opposite would be you date, you being with a girl, you guys dating for a year, break up, your dad sleeps with her hooks up with her for a little bit then you guys get back together and you found that out would you be able to stay my dad is was an addict it's very similar to this story actually would you be able to stay no you wouldn't be able to stay fuck no you fucked my dad ah that's crazy that's crazy dude that's crazy like yeah no, no yeah. I, I would not be able to stay for a minute <laughs> are you kidding me okay but what if you're the happiest you've ever been i don't care <laughs> At that moment, I'm like, me and my dad have both been inside of something, and it's not my mother. <laughs> <laughs> that, that just came out kind of crazy. <laughs> but yes, I get what you're saying. I don't know, man. That's, Would that's, you that's be able to stay? No, 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 not at all. I think I, to me personally, that and this is uh, that's a that's a that's a deal breaker. That's a game changer. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a game that's changer. That's the one deal breaker, the babe. One. babe. I, <laughs> You can do whatever you want. Just please don't fuck my dad. Do whatever you please, want. Please, please don't. Do whatever you want. Just yeah. not my don't dad. Don't compare us unless I'm bigger. Just, my dad, just not my dad. <laughs> I just, I just feel what like. What if she hits you with that? At least you're bigger. I, have you seen that meme where it's like the yeah. guy where he's like, tell me something that makes me happy and it's sad. sad at the same time. <laughs> you're the biggest out of all your friends. Oh my God. You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's actually insane, bro. That is actually, <laughs> that's a loaded one. Um, luckily, I do not have any guilt like that. So, I don't know. I can see why she posted it on r slash confessions. I can, I can see why she needed to get that one out. That's, mm -hmm. that's a bad one. You need therapy. But she's sober, so shout out to you, I guess. And shout out to Henry. And shout, what was the daughter's name? Uh, no, no name. Ah. No name. Ah. Maybe Harry's name was changed. I'm sure. I'm sure Hopefully. I'm sure it was. You can't be that dumb. Because someone's going to hear that story and go, like, Henry? Or Harry? Harry? Hey, you, what the fuck did you do? My mom was a joke. Yeah, that'd be wild. Let's think about it this way. Imagine you 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 hear that story circulating and you start putting the pieces together. You're like, wait, my husband used to be a drug addict. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you start putting it so together. So did my mother. Yep. Are you telling me you guys had sex together? Yeah. 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 Even putting it out there is I think it's a little bit dangerous. That's if what I'm saying. Batman would have never got that out of me. I have yeah. to go to the grave with that one. Very much so. Yep. All right, Matthew. I just want to do one more thing before we wrap this guy up. I think we need help on our improv. If I'm being honest, like, like we just need to get we need to get more familiar and be loose and everything, be more on our toes comedically. So I thought, but no, I didn't think about it. I was watching some videos on how 
to do that. How to do that. And then people suggested that we should play a word association game. Have oh, you heard about this before? Uh, yeah, explain it. Basically, one of us is going to come up with the word. The one that's not saying the word is going to come up with something that directly correlates to, to that word. It doesn't have to correlate like, like that. But the first thing that the comes, first to, mind thing that comes to mind. That, yes. Okay. No, no, no thoughts. Just, say. just vibes. Okay. Okay. You ready? I get. I, okay. So I don't have any words for you though. I can go ahead and start. Okay. Okay. Titty pics. Uh, cell phone. Penis. Buildings. Cement. Semen. <laughs> Shrimp. Dick. <laughs> Drake. And Josh. <laughs> Foot fetish. That's two words. Uh, socks. I don't know. Foot cheese. Shoes. Running. Batman. Superman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we're doing this right. I don't think we're doing this right. Okay, for the top, you go with one. Uh, okay. Um, vagina. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Uh, Macaroni. Sex. Mom. S- uh, I don't know. Bro, bro, I don't know. bro, you have to keep going. I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> This is hard. This is what type of exercise is this? This is hard. It's just, it's just, it's just getting us to say the word, the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, okay, I got you. Clock tower. Bush. San Francisco. Gay. Gorilla. Dick. Uh, Shamu. Rag. Pterodactyl. Fly. Sex. Dust. Retirement home. Your mom. Nope. <laughs> you know she refused to be in a retirement home. Well, she can't now. No, she refused. Huh. There's a reason. No, she, <laughs> hey, did, speaking of that, anyway. They okay. have sex a lot. I don't know. This, this, they, yeah, they have yeah, sex yeah, a we'll, lot. We'll have, to do a, we'll have to do an episode on that because, <laughs> yeah, the, it is actually crazy how rampant STDs are in retirement homes. Exactly. They be getting down. Like, but who's bringing it in is what I want to know. Everybody. What else do you do? Yeah, but it's it, like but during it pandemic. But it doesn't just how many pop se- up. It how has, much someone se- has to start it. Everybody, bro. You're telling me when you were cooped up in here, you didn't just... What I'm saying is who was patient? Zero. There had to have been one person inside or outside that brings it into the retirement home or someone at the retirement home had to have something. But if it's like gonorrhea, who had gonorrhea first? That's passing it to everyone. Right back in the 60s and 70s, bro. Everybody had it. It's still here now, though, is what I'm saying. Because of them. You don't keep gonorrhea, though. Some people fuck old people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's something going on. Someone's either bringing it in or out. Um, I don't know. This improv uh, thing did not work. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad. I used to do that all the time. I, I used to actually do that, what you were saying, which was like, see if I can find something that is different than the, the word, but yeah. like but like in the same realm. Okay. You want to try one more time? One more time. Okay. Just so, to send us home. Okay. Um, Europe. Pigeon. <laughs> Why? I don't know. All right. Uh, am I going to go off the last word you'd win off of? So so do do we have to bounce back and correlate them to? Yeah, okay. So, uh, okay, just keep it, try to see if we can keep it going. So if, if I say Europe, you said pigeon, I got to say something off of the last word you heard. Yes, that's, okay. that's the whole point of this exercise. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't explain that. We didn't have no rules. No, that is true. All right. You I just, do that a lot. I just told you to tell, do something. You're like, why don't you just read my mind? Uh, okay, go ahead. Start it off. Fried. Chicken. Meatball. Soup. Tomato. Can. Bread. Money. Plain. Crash. <laughs> Tower. Lord of the Rings. Smeagol. Crackhead. Semen. Mud. Rain. Clouds? Sky? Net? No. <laughs> I don't fucking... <laughs> we need to work on okay, this. Okay, we're going to work <laughs> on it. All right. All right. Thank you you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. Make sure to comment. You never know. Next week, we could be reading your comment live on the podcast. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else to add before we leave, Matt? Yeah, so if you guys have any interesting stories you've heard from Reddit or any type of social media, go ahead and post them down below in the comments or send us a DM on Instagram or wherever. We can read them out if you want. If you Um, like. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone again. Uh, thank you for 124 subscribers. That is great. Thank oh, shit, it went up. It went up. We're at, we're, at, we're, at a, we're at 124. And thank you to all you guys that got our, our Deadpool video to 1K. That's an that's an accomplishment right there. We don't we don't celebrate a lot of the milestones on camera, yeah. but believe me, behind 
close behind quarters, me and Mary just geeking out, we watching it go every every time. Oh my god, it's so gratifying. So thank you guys for that. Yes, and thank you for watching. Tune yep. in to next week. Oh, and tune in to, to the freaking time travel episode that we have coming out. When I don't know exactly. I don't know. But see you guys next week. Yep. Bye bye. You're like a dream that's come true. I only wish you knew. You're all I.